This video is brought to you by Squarespace. You can't think of Thailand without thinking of foods. And Bangkok has some of the best street food in the world. We are back in Bangkok and in today's video, we'll be walking the streets of this city, trying some Thai street food for the first time. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> to help us, we met up with our new friend, Gary, AKA the Roman cook. Everybody meet Gary, <laughs> the Roman cook. How are you? Gary is from the UK and has been living in Thailand for years and is a Thai food expert. When we just had the rice a minute ago, yeah. when I lifted off the lid, that late leaf that was flavoring the rice is also what's in this. Not only does he know the most delicious Thai street food here in Bangkok, but he also knows the best places to get them. Although you can get it everywhere, the best place to get it is, if, is somewhere that sells radna or radna, which is what this is as well. Gary is like a local. He knows all the traditional and authentic spots. Like, oh, and we're so excited to spend the day eating some delicious Thai foods. All right, so today we're at Pranakon, Pranakon, <laughs> which is the start of the old town. So it's like the old town border in Chinatown. Okay. So it's gonna be where you're gonna like, up there you've got Khao San Road, the backpack area, you've got the Grand Palace, Wat Po, and just loads and loads of good old-fashioned Thai street food. Okay, nice. exactly. So it's the best place to come for, for street foods. I'd say if it was your first time in Bangkok, it's one of the best places you can come because like, a lot of people around here speak English, but it's still not too many tourists and it still retains its old sort of charm. Okay. So. Nice. Yeah. nice. We're really excited. So we spent a couple of weeks in Bangkok and we never did a street food tour <laughs> and we're back now and we're with the experts. So you picked the best one. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Swarita. <laughs> All right, so first stop sounds a little bit boring. We've got some, we've got khao man gai. Khao is rice, man is oily and gai is chicken. So it's chicken okay. oily rice. Okay. In Singapore, they call it like Hainanese chicken rice. So it's boiled chicken and rice, which sounds pretty boring, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> it was. <laughs> it's how they cook the rice that's so special. So basically, you rend they he's gonna take the fat from the chicken, okay, render that down to get chicken fat, fry off loads of garlic, loads of ginger, Hello. then put the rice in that chicken stock from the boiled chicken into that, boil the rice down, so you get like reverse fried rice. So you look at the color oh of that my rice. God. So you got pandan, whole pieces of ginger, lovely oh, nice. oily rice. It's like sort of reverse fried rice. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. They really know what to do with their food, don't yeah, they? Yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, and this guy, like, he's just been cooking this for 10, 12 years. Mum's wow. recipe, just this. Really? So, yeah. This is yeah. all he serves here, All he yeah? serves. We've also got some grilled chicken as well. So we're going to have a little mixture of both, spicy nice. sauce. Nice. The name of this dish again is, I need Cal to get it. Cow mangai. Cow mangai. That's it, yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. Is this a... a, a a popular dish here. Yeah, this is one of the dishes. Like, you, you, well, now you've had it once, you're gonna see this like okay, 50 yeah. times a day. You know, like when someone wow. buy, fucking buys a new car and you've never seen it before, and then yeah. you suddenly you see you it like see everywhere. It you might say, yeah, yeah. It's like that. That's you're gonna what see happens. this. That's yeah. what we need. But, once you show us, yeah, you know, right. You're knowing. Yeah. That rice is unreal, honestly. It's so like, the taste right? of ginger really strong but in it. That's what I mean. Like, not everywhere puts the ginger in the rice. There's always ginger in the sauce. Let me get some of this sauce. Oh, okay. This is what can make or break a common guy, right? It's hard to get a really bad one. When you get a bad one, you're like, how is it this? Like, how if they mess this up, it's just yeah. chicken and rice. But usually it's just garlic and the rice. To have the, the ginger and the pandan as well is a little bit different. It's giving you chicken thigh. Usually when they see foreigners, they'll just give you breast, okay. chicken breast, because they think we, we can only eat chicken breast. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. So sometimes it can be a bit dry, but this is nice and soft. This and then nice, yeah. the grilled yeah. chicken, if you look, they've got, they've got like, he uses, he, it's marinated in uh, like palm sugar, fish sauce, uh, oh, oyster okay. sauce, but also whole coriander seeds. Okay. So oh, like, I'll let you get involved with that. Curry. But try the sauce. We've got chili, again, more ginger, garlic, black soy sauce, which is this one. You want more chili because you just tell me you love it. Really? Uh, <laughs> it yeah? Put a little bit of that onto the chicken, get the rice in there. Okay, uh, we'll try a little bit. Are you going to have some as well? Yeah, yeah, I'll have some as well, yeah. Dig in. Dig in. Mm. Oh, yeah, thinking? that's nice. Yeah, right? It's not too mm. spicy at all. No, no, no. No. Mm. You could literally live off rice dishes over here with the yeah. flavors that they put in it. Like, oh, yeah. You never get sick of them. You never get sick of them. Yeah. Okay, so cow man guy. Yes, I like it. And I'll definitely 10? be having it again. Out 10, 10 out of 10. The rice was just amazing, honestly. I love how they flavor the rice. It's yeah, unbelievable. Mm. How they can just fancy rice up. Like, do you know yeah. what I mean? It's unbelievable. So, 60 bats, which is what? 
two euro maybe. Yeah. For all of that. For all of this. It's a good deal. It's a good deal, yes. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, thank you. Bye bye. That's actually very interesting there what Gary was saying about the uh, boiled chicken and rice. Initially it was like, okay, it's it might sound a little bit boring, you know, it's only really two components, the rice and the and the chicken. But um how they make it, how they do uh, the rice, how they boil the chicken, all the spices and all the flavours really kind of makes the dish come alive, I guess, you know. So he says that's kind of the skill of these kind of uh, street food uh, chefs is that they can take something that we would probably consider to be quite boring, but they make it just taste unbelievable. And by all accounts, they, they both really, really enjoyed it. <laughs> He's literally taking his ball and running away. <laughs> Let me introduce you to the sponsor of today's video. We have just launched our very own website and it's all thanks to Squarespace. So if you're wondering what Squarespace is, it's an all-in-one platform that you can use to create your very own website or blog super easy. We are excited to take our business to the next level and increase our online presence by having our very own website. Are you looking to create your very own website or blog but you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed by the thoughts of it? Because I'm not going to lie, we were too. We chose Squarespace to build our website because they have pre-built layouts and customizable templates and with them we were able to quickly create our very own web pages. As you can see here, you can add pictures, change the colours, add whatever you want to give it that personal look. It's very easy to use. What we also love about Squarespace is you don't need any advanced computer skills or any web design experience. With Squarespace, anyone can create a professional looking website. And another hassle-free thing is you can buy and register your very own custom domain through their website. Another useful thing for us is that we can link our social media accounts to our website. So for example, our Instagram, we're able to push our recent posts from our Instagram to our website. Click on the link in the video's description to get a free trial and then when you're ready to launch your own website or blog, you can head on over to squarespace.com forward slash go time travels and you'll get 10% off on your first purchase of a website or domain using our code go time travels. And back to the vlog. It's absolutely gorgeous around here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All the little yeah. houses and the little canal running yeah, through it. Lovely. You So I'd love to hear that. So she just said that today she'd a customer come and said like from my recommendation ah. but, but they're Thai not even not even foreigners okay, not even right. foreign Thai people are coming now from my <laughs> nice. recommendation nice they sell two dishes here basically so one is called kua gai right which means pan roasted chicken noodles right okay which is a dish you can only get in Bangkok okay more specifically in this area so it's wide rice, rice noodles chicken and that's pretty much it because it's in pork fat right but here they take it one step further so you get egg noodles fried the same way but with barbecue right. pork which they've also handmade cooked in lard usually these egg noodles yeah, here we don't fry these egg noodles here usually you only have these in soup okay so this dish they only sell here they don't wow. they don't sell it anywhere else i've taken somewhere that you can only get this dish here wow, okay. if you come and check this out come yeah. and check this out they make their own lard so they make their own pork fat right okay but they, so they render down pork skin to make it and then what's left is this crispy crunchy pork fat right and then they put this back on top of the noodles and you can have as much of this as you want wow. so it's like it's just like a yeah like a heart attack on a plate <laughs> so if i go today if i'm gone like i'm dying a happy man <laughs> it's always a fattening food that's like the nicest yeah. <laughs> isn't it Jim, Jim. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. It's like the best pork scratch you ever. Oh yes. And this also is is um super rare that they're cooking on these, we call these bows. So they're like uh like a charcoal grill. Okay. So it's, it's hard enough to regulate temperature when you're frying, when you've got gas, you can turn up and down. Yeah. And the fact they have to use and get the temperature right on the charcoal, okay. and they'll be fanning the hole there to get it like hotter. These brass pans that they cook on, these aren't very common either because some people don't like things being cooked in here because you get so much char on it, which is where you get the flavor from, but some people don't like it. So it's just oh. pure, Charcoal char. I was gonna say that you'll get that flavour really yeah, strong yeah, yeah, now, yeah, because yeah, I can even smell it now. <laughs> Lovely. What is the name of this? Alright, so this is Batmi Kua Modeng. Batmi is. Kua Kua Chicken. Kua Kai. Modeng. Modeng, ah? Kua Modeng. 
เขาชอบกินหมูแดงสั่งก๋วยเตี๋ยวคั่วไก่ใช่ไหมคั่วไก่อร่อยนะครับสิสิพอเราเดินเช็คกันในสเปอร์กว่าแต่สมัยสิบ้านไม่ใช่เอ็กนูดูคั่วคือในนี้นี่คือสไตล์ฟรายหรือพานโรสต์และหมูแดงคือเรดพอร์กหรือชาชูบาร์บีคิวไทยนี่สเปอร์กที่เขาทำเองที่ทำเองที่นี่คือหมูแดงคือ Pork rind, so they've made their own lard to cook the noodles in, and the leftover lard is turned into crispy pork. And they've also cooked that down with Thai garlic as well. So you've got like crispy garlic in there as well. Loads and loads of char, some spring onions, served on a bed of lettuce. But we can't just eat it straight away. Got to, got to sauce it up. So you're always going to have condiments on the table, so you can like pimp it up to your own taste. Okay. Right. So I know from experience that these are a little bit sweet. They're quite salty. So I'm going to put a little bit of vinegar on. Okay. Don't, don't worry, this is not spicy at all. It okay. There's hardly any chilli in this at all. This it's is why bit. it's good to have the expert with us because we would just leave these <laughs> on the table. I would throw we this on. Know. Um, as well, myself. Okay. But I'm going to leave you. I'm going to leave that. Right. A little bit of fish sauce just, just to make it a little bit hot. Okay. All right. You're supposed to probably eat it with the chopsticks, but I can't drink it, so I'm going to go with the spoon. <laughs> there's no problem here. There's no, there's no judgment here. There's no judgment here. But just try and get a bit of everything. Try and get some of the noodles, some of the egg. Okay, yeah. Pick it all up on the yeah, spoon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The mixture of flavors. We have a bit of egg, a bit of noodles, nice big piece of pork. Mm -hmm. Do I need anything? I haven't, oh, eat, I haven't eaten off these yet, so I'm just gonna. Okay. Mm. There you go. So that's everything. That's everything. All right, let's go. <laughs> Taste it. It's amazing. Wow. Is it really? <laughs> it really is good. <laughs> yes, it's so good. I love Thai food. It gets better and better, honestly. So good. The crispy pork is amazing. So yes. good, right? It's so good. Because like you got everything. You got like sweet, salty. Peppery, mm. everything. Loads Even the flavors textures. that you're after pouring all over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a forest of flavors of everything. Because this is quite flavorful anyway. But a lot of times you're going to have these on the table because they're going to serve you something like noodle soup, quite plain. Or you just sort of find one where you like the base flavor. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you put your sugar in if you want it sweet. You put your cheese in if you want it spicier. Because like I've cooked for like 10 Thai people, 15 Thai people before, and like one person will go, yeah, that's perfect. The next will go, yeah, oh, yeah that's yeah. too salty. The okay, next will yeah. go, no, 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 it needs more salt. Yeah, it's so yeah. sweet. The next one will go, so you just it make just it depends on your, your palate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. find yeah. somewhere where you like the base flavor, and then just keep going back there, and then you can twist it. Of like, course, you it. can add on more if you like it. Exactly. Whatever you're into, like, like exactly. that's so good, honestly. We would never order anything like this, as I said, we're very simple eaters, so we always just order the same thing. We find a nice rice, rice and chicken safe, dish, we play it safe, and we're like, okay, that will do, but like, this yeah. is why coming on a field yeah, yeah, tour yeah. like this is really yeah. good, yeah. We'll have to get you to write the names down, though, because I'm not going to remember. 100%, that's it. 100%. That was a treat, because I don't know if we can get that anywhere else. <laughs> He's bringing us to the best spots, which is good and bad, because we're not going to probably get them again as nice, but it's really good to taste them. Yeah, yeah. But that was amazing. That's definitely one of my favourite dishes I've tried. It since being in Thailand. I tell you, if you look for an old apartment around here, man, you won't be able to just move in. <laughs> yeah. And 60 baht again for that. This tree food is just for nothing, honestly. It's so, so cheap. And again, I keep saying it, but like, just be brave enough to try it and like do your research or mm. go on a field tour with someone and get them to bring yeah. you around to the best spots. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You can live really, really cheap over mm. here. Yeah. It's really cool and kind of interesting to see Gary uh, interact with all the locals. He speaks Thai, he's been living here for about seven years. And just to kind of, me and Spanner just kind of watching and just sort of, you know, admiring just the way he kind of talks to them and just gets all the information, it's great. This is very blazing. He's cooking us up a nice <laughs> dish here. <laughs> Oh wow. Smell of it. I think they're freshly making the dough in there. Oh. Oh look at this. So vegetarian food. Vegetarian food. I'm gonna right. eat lovely. So basically what we've got, we've got fried dough sticks. So she said you can go inside and have a little look at the dough in a minute. Oh, okay. But it is basically as it sounds, it's like a bread dough cut up into strips and they fry it. Like you can have this sweet or savory. So the actual bread sticks aren't sweet. Okay. But the sauce that you get with it, which uh, is a uh, Thai custard, yeah. flavoured with which is pandan. So when we just had the rice a minute ago, yeah. when I lifted off the lid, that late leaf that was flavouring the rice is also what's in this. Ah, okay. Asi right. Asian vanilla. So very okay. sweet custard. Okay. And you dip that in there. Sometimes they have this with rice soup. You might see it at a, right, a okay. hotel, right? Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. can have it sweet or savoury, ah, but nice. today we're gonna have it sweet. Lovely. Oh. And do you know the name of this? Patong Ko. Okay. Patong Ko. Patong Ko. So I've been here seven years. 
order it nearly every day and I still can't pronounce it. Really it's one of the ones that gets me. Yeah. Indeed. But he's assured me that I'm saying it right. Pan of war, Subway. I don't know, it's like, I was going to say donut, but it's more kind of like a batter. You know the way donut would be more, be a different kind of texture. This looks like kind of batter. It's obviously dough that's been fried. We've just been seeing them uh, cooking it, how they chop it basically and just like fry it. So split it down the middle. See that crispy inside. Wow. It's a bit like a pizza crust. Yeah, yeah, I was having a little dip in it's a, like a, a batter kind of thing, isn't it? So this would be the pandan leaf, as I said before. Okay. Uh, coconut milk, a little, right. a little bit of uh, evaporated milk, sugar, egg, a little bit of corn flour, and then, nice. they, they, then they cook it down and it thickens up. Wow. It's serious, isn't it? No. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> that is incredible. And uh, the sauce is lovely. Six baht each, so like. Really? Eight, 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 yeah. The nickname's Chinese donuts, but yeah. it ain't really a donut. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's similar to a donut, but then that sauce is yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, without the sauce, maybe. It might be a bit bland, but yeah, 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 yeah. But the sauce just. But that's Basically. the beautiful thing, because this sauce is so flavourful, you need something just to live, just blend a little bit oily, just yeah. like carry it. But it, it, there's a really famous one in Chinatown, they've got a few branches now, like hyper famous, 20 people in the queue. I think this one's much better. Really? Personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at a double dip in there, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have very good sauce etiquette. <laughs> work away, mate, work away. The sauce is a mad colour, isn't it? I like know. It's a luminous green, <laughs> the colour of the enjoy. sauce is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it doesn't look nice to look at. <laughs> know, right? like... You'd think that that was like food colouring, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's, not... it's that leaf that was in the rice, and you blitz it out with water, squeeze all the juice out, and That's then when, when you mix it with the coconut milk, so the coconut milk's white, it goes like bright, luminous green. Oh. So some people will obviously use food colouring, but if you go to these old school proper Thai Chinese shops, being open 70 odd years, you know, they're, they're doing everything properly. They're doing it properly. Doing yeah, it's all made yeah. from scratch, no food colouring, exactly. nothing. There you go. It's all That's pure. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yes. so, so oh my they god. Absolutely <laughs> beautiful. Do you know what? Since I've got to Thailand as well, I'm obsessed with coconut. Like, I've always yeah, loved yeah. coconut, but everything, there's so many dishes and all made with coconut. But, but <laughs> the, you, I think, I don't know, because I haven't been to India. I know you guys just got back from India, but like, don't hate me, my Vietnamese viewers here, but the, the <laughs> coconuts here are so much better than the coconuts we get back home. Yeah. Vietnam, Laos, anywhere. The coconuts in Thailand are like insane. The best. But uh, there's coconut in this, yeah. yeah I yeah, can yeah. taste real coconut, yeah. Do you know what it's like? Remember in Ghostbusters, the slime? Yeah, <laughs> the slime. <laughs> like, isn't it? But yeah, but this is delicious. Right, obviously. that's my new favourite. Yes. <laughs> yes. Our next stop brought us to another one of Gary's favourite places. A family-run business that's been in Bangkok for decades. Yeah, so the shop's name's Yodpak CCB, so like 40 years. So, but the sign went up a long time ago. So now I just asked her how long it's been over. She's like, oh, I don't really know, 50, 60 years, something like that. Last uh, count. They always say about. So they always say about 50, about 60. So between okay. 50, 60 years. Either way, it's old school. And if you've been operating in this area for 50 years and you're still open, and this is the least busy you will ever see this joint. Really? If you come here at like lunchtime or later on today is going to be absolutely mopped right. so okay. like this is the least busy i've ever seen mm. so. here we got to try a savory vegetarian dish and samantha got tested with something she wasn't overly keen on oh, wow this? and then this, this is one is a vegetarian number this one okay oi, oi. that looks really good let me nice. just try it let me i'm not going to try it i just yeah, want to see yeah, what they've done away. here away. oh look at that off menu for you. Really? She's giving you some rehydrated shiitake mushrooms. Oh. So some proper decent Chinese mushrooms instead of meat. And actually, okay. that sounds fancy. Yeah. Right? <laughs> when I actually cook at home, and I, so I was cooking for my mum and my sister are vegan, if I was substituting meat, I would always use mushrooms, not like processed, like fake meat. I would yeah, always use mushrooms. Yeah. So what's the, what nice. would you call this then? What's so the this is Pad Siu. So this, you can get this everywhere in Thailand, okay. um, like anywhere, like any guest house or Pad Siu. So it's just wide rice noodles with Siu, which is dark soy sauce, Siu dum. All the flavors coming off like that really hot, again, high heat wok cooking. Yeah. Although you can get it everywhere, the best place to get it is if, is somewhere that sells Radna or Radna, which is what this is as well. Okay. So the two go together, they're like a little married couple. Ah. Um, and if you're, if you're selling Radna and Pad Siu, you're always pretty much gonna get a good one. So we've got wide rice noodles, dark soy sauce, garlic, little bit of oyster sauce, uh, and some Pat Kana, which is Chinese kale. I'm really excited about this one. Yeah. It looks amazing. So these are the, the noodles. Yeah, so they're rice, rice noodles, rice noodles. So good, yeah. really, really nice. And this was the mushroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're shiitake mushrooms. In England, they're about 
It's a grand. Really? <laughs> they're expensive. They're expensive, more drum. It's good for you to find some veggie options, isn't it, Keelan? Because oh, yeah, you can no, find on a hard in Bangkok as well. Like yeah, it's not yeah. so easy to find yeah. an actual Every, veggie dish. Everything is, even if not, oh, it's vegetarian. Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, it's got pork in it. But mm. <laughs> so, mm. I mean, no, it's got some prawns in it, obviously. Mm. But it's like, it's with such a heavy inf Chinese influence here, like a lot of pork, a lot of prawns, mm. even the stocks and stuff, it's hard to get something that doesn't have prawns inside. Mm. Um, That's gorgeous, I have to say. The egg is lovely mixed in yeah, yeah. with the noodles and then the vegetables as well. Nice and crunchy, the veg yeah. is not too well, overdone, everything's just flash right. Exactly, it's a nice mix because the veg is nice and crunchy, but then the noodles are nice and soft Stop and kind of thing, yeah. so it's like, it's absolutely, and then the mushroom as well is gorgeous. What's the name of this one again? Pad Siu. Pad means to stir fry, CU right. just means soy sauce. Okay. It literally, it sounds a lot better inside than English. Yeah, yeah, soy yeah. Sauce, so, soy sauce, noodles, veg, mushrooms, right. egg, perfect. Out of 10. 10? We're in Thailand. <laughs> Everything is 10 out of 10. <laughs> and this tour is just basically opening our eyes to different, um, different meals and just kind of, just so we can expand a bit about you know what we're eating while we're here. But yeah. So good. What's this on the spoon this there? It's a squid tentacle. Okay. That's for you. <laughs> squid Ali, that tentacles, Ali. Amanda. Have you ever had a squid tentacle? No, I'm looking. I'm like, what is that on the spoon? I'll eat that. I'll eat that. I'll eat that for you. Don't worry. I'll, eat, I'll come to your rescue, right? <laughs> so you've got a choice. You can have this with whatever noodle you want, but you usually get it with the white rice noodles. But okay. you can also get it with like deep fried meat crab, we call this, so crispy noodles. Oh, crispy noodles. So, you can do whatever you want. You so can you dip them in there or you can pour that in there. Okay. Ah, okay. so you can dip them in and the soup. Make, if, if you pour that in, it will make them soft, I suppose? Yeah, soften yeah. up a little bit, yeah. Okay. So do you want to pour it in? Yeah. I, what's the best way? You know. I need to say, Nina. Yeah. Uh, he's saying pour it in. Okay, so you pour it in. in. Oh. oh, it looks lovely. All right, and again, guys, got to get a little bit of vinegar on now, right? You know the first place we went? Yeah. The sauce you liked with the chicken, mm. the, 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 the chili sauce, oh, not the green yeah. one, the other one, yeah, the brown yeah. sauce. Mm. The yellow bean I said was in it yeah. is the same thing that flavours this. Okay. But they make it thick and that gloopy consistency with, uh, they might be using rice flour or tapioca flour. Okay. You can use whatever you want or corn flour. But the pork's been marinated as well in sugar and fish sauce and again rice flour. Mm. So it's very, very soft. Nice. It's a bit it looks, like a stew. It looks lovely. Yeah. It looks like it's a stew. So work away, I'm gonna So I'm gonna go with the pork and you're gonna go, gonna with, go the with the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're starting to get to that stage where we're starting to get stuffed, but Gary's now bringing us for a little bit of ice cream from some, uh, there's kind of like a family business here. I think they've been in Bangkok for about 80 years. So we're gonna finish the tour with something sweet, something to sort of settle the stomach, I guess. Ice cream is always great for uh, for having after you've had like a big meal. So looking forward to that. That feel, by the way, delicious. All these famous shops, they've actually got signs outside and it. it's got information in Thai and English about the shop. The okay. ice cream that shop's been homemade over through 70 years, so just for 70 years. Wow. But obviously you can see how old this is, so yeah. it's like 10 years old, but yeah. I had another turn on that, but <laughs> like you, you can tell the shop's gonna be legit pretty much. It's yeah. been open 70 years, got a nice little sign outside saying it's the one. Yeah, and then she's yeah. got all, of, all the um, her little accolades on the wall from all the papers and stuff. This will kill us right down. A bit of shade <laughs> and some ice cream. This is the boss. Oh, the boss lady. Hello, how are you? Hi. You want? What flavour are you going to get? I think I'm going to go with coconut. I have to, honestly. Yeah. What are you going to go for? Are we going to just share? <laughs> That's so much food. Yeah. I'm thinking that we need to fit in a beer at the end of this. Yeah, yeah. You are rich. Uh, handmade. They even, they even, they even got the coconut uh, milk machine to make the coconut milk. Oh, wow. Oh, this is old school. This is proper. Uh, this is proper. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this one's pretty rare. This is black sesame. And the reason I get this one, the one I like the taste. Okay. It's got like a sesame, it's got like a kind of peanut kind of taste. But it's oh, got a nice. really interesting texture because it's like ground nuts. It's like a, like quite a chalky one. Okay. And these like, uh, they're not churned. So they're like more like sorbets. They've got like ice crystals in which oh. we're always taught not to do when we're like in the west to cook, uh, it's make it's ice cream, you gotta keep like, yeah, yeah. thing, but it's nice to, because it's so hot, it's nice to have that. Yeah. And where it's fresh coconut milk, mm. it's, it's nice to have those little like ice crystals in it. Yeah. I can see that, down. yeah, it's like icy yeah, looking. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, so okay. I'm gonna try the coconut and Caitlin's gonna try the black sesame. Black sesame. 
smell. Oh, that is nice. I can see what you mean by the peanut kind of yeah, yeah. flavor. It is a strange taste for ice cream. You're not kind of yeah, expecting to that, taste that yeah. way. Yeah, black sesame, but it's nice. You should try yeah. it. There's definitely a peanut sort of um, vibe off okay. for sure, yeah. Oh, I can get the nutty taste. Yeah, yes. yeah, it's definitely, it's unique. I don't think That's I've ever gorgeous. tried ice cream that sort of it's funny because I would see color. that I would see that um, you know in a shop and I probably wouldn't order that you know I'd mm. go for my typical like I, straight away I was like coconut Mint or something like that yeah, yeah, yeah. that's really really mm. nice and I do love peanut as well and you can mm. really taste the peanut flavour in it so time for the coconut <laughs> <laughs> my favourite what's that like? oh yeah it's lovely mm. it's so nice it's very back. refreshing very mm. refreshing that one would be definitely more something that we'd be we'd be used to as opposed to this one yeah but then again this one is really really nice as well so if i was actually ordering but again i probably would go with this one mm. the beauty of them being like one euro each is you can just buy as many as you want well, that's it. <laughs> you know try every flavor and then decide what one is your favor <laughs> do you want some gary yeah, <laughs> you can't finish off a flute tour without an ice cream no oh, definitely not. criminal to finish it off <laughs> or a beer can't or a beer <laughs> or an ice cream full of ice cream full of by a beer our last stop on this amazing food tour with Gary the Roman cook brought us to Swing Bar here in Bangkok as we toasted meeting new people and trying amazing foods. Cheers! Cheers! Thanks very much Gary. Thank you! Well, Cheers! What's the... Cheers in, in Thai? Chow? Chong Gao! Chong Gao! Chong Gao! Chong is to Chong. hit, Chong. Gao is glass. Chong Gao is Chong glass. Gao. So it basically means clink the glass. Clink the glass, that's it. <laughs> a massive thank you to Gary for taking the time to show us around the best spots in Bangkok for street foods and all his incredible information about the food we tried. He has really opened our eyes to more and more traditional Thai food and the endless amount of options when eating street food in Bangkok and throughout Thailand. Gary has his own channel on YouTube, The Roaming Cook, which we will leave in the description of this video. So please go and check him out for more amazing food content from Southeast Asia. We really hope you liked this video. Please leave a like to support us. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. You can follow us on Instagram for all of our daily updates at GoTime Travels. And of course, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for all our future uploads from Thailand. So once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.